Hey guys, today I wanted to show you this really cool device from Sense Labs called uh, Quick Keys. This can be used as a wireless control unit for your dyno. I'll show you how it looks. It comes in a nice box by the way, uh, like that. Take it out of it and turn it on. And um, as you will see, this thing has uh, physical buttons here. And, and here it has a wheel and it has a display in the middle and that display uh, shows what each of the buttons are called and of course this is fully programmable. Uh, I'll show you how to program it and how to use it with your dyno. It costs about 89 euros so it's, uh, it's quite affordable. So here is the program from Sense Lab. You can see the different keys here and what they are called. You recognize, of course, the same thing down here on the physical device, right? Uh, you need to... Uh, I can show you how to program a button, let's say this one. Uh, now we call it reset and uh, uh, that can be changed just like this, for example. And you see right away it changes to test down here, right? so it's as, as easy as that. Let's go back to reset and uh, in addition to calling it something, you need to say what kind of keystroke should uh, the button press. And here it's just R. And you can see each of the buttons uh, have a name and they have a keystroke. And of course this keystroke needs to match uh, the program that you are going to control with this thing. So let's say in the example of uh, the Your Dino program, we can go to hotkeys. Uh, that's here. And you will see... Uh, they match, right? So, for example, start run uh, is space, so run stop is space. Uh, lock gear ratio is uh, G, that's the same here. Lock ratio is G. Is G. Okay, you get the, the drift of that. Let's see how we can use it. Okay, so let's do a new run. We press the button and up starts a new run. Let's say we turn the brake on. You see now it holds uh, 2600 RPM. We can change the, the RPM target RPM here with this uh, wheel. Uh, let's start the run. And uh, yeah, we can just wait a little bit and stop it again. It is not doing uh, much uh, intelligent, of course, now. It's just a demo. Uh, when it is uh, done with that, we can do a save and close. And we are back here. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Pretty nice uh, little device, this thing. It has even more uh, functionalities, right? You can um, you can press here and then the, the wheel means something different. You see the color changes a bit. You can also change here to set up different uh, sort of tabs, if you will. I've only set up one now, but uh, we have eight buttons here, but with uh, these different combinations, you can make them uh, do much more than just these eight. I think it looks absolutely perfect for a dyno setup and I also know the range is good so we'll recommend this one to control your dyno. Okay that's all for today.